Hello, good evening, and welcome back. Boris Johnson is set to be crowned Prime Minister tomorrow, Monday. But six ministers threatened to quit in protest, and the further six Tory MPs could defect to the Lib Dems. <clears throat> this is from the Daily Mail uh, about an hour ago. And yes, it's, it's funny that, isn't it? They're going to defect to the Lib Dems of all places. The, the party that came out as pro remain before Labour, which was then forcing Labour's hands in order to then have to also become a uh, pro remain party, because otherwise they were losing votes there. It's similar to the Tories and Brexit party, which is nice, because then that means that we can go against the, the two-party system and people can actually vote for what they want instead of against the lesser of two evils. But it does go to show that these conservatives were then not conservative at all in the first place, and at least then their true colours are showing. Boris Johnson's Brexit plans face blow as senior ministers could quit if he wins. That's not a bad thing at all. That's brilliant. Then he can pick his own uh, based cabinet. In fact, yeah, check out um, Academic Agent's video on this of the, the ideal... Um, cabinet that he could pick. I'll, I'll put a link in the description. Half a dozen ministers were expected to resign when Theresa May leaves office. Six more Tory MPs were planning to defect the Liberal Democrats if he wins. Mr Johnson is likely to win a comprehensive victory in the Tory leadership race. And they do go on to say that it's important that they're aligned with the Prime Minister and therefore they'll be quitting because they, they cannot agree with his hardline um, no-deal stance and definitely leaving by Halloween which is funny then because they were happy to be with Theresa May, suggesting that they never really wanted to leave the EU in the first place. So you can make up your own mind about what that means about <laughs> treacherousness and treachery. Let's read on. Boris Johnson's Brexit plan faced a double blow last night before he even enters number 10. Boris Johnson is likely to win a comprehensive victory, 73%. Um, but in the sign of difficulties he faces once in Downing Street, senior ministers opposing no deal, including Philip Hammond, that's not a problem, and David Cork, also not a problem, if anything, that's a badge of honour, announced they would quit the government if he becomes Prime Minister. It's a bit like in America, um, getting Mitt Romney's endorsement. It's like, no, no, please, please, no. So you, so you won't support me, and that'll be so much better for me. Thank you. Boris Johnson will have a wafer thin Commons majority of just four when he becomes PM, which could fall to two if the Tories lose by election next month. His Brexit plan faced a double blow last night before he even enters number 10. That is the one issue if it, six do leave, doesn't have the majority anymore. In which case, then be having to have another election, and hopefully then you'd get enough support by people saying, well, we're okay with the Conservatives now because Boris Johnson is leading it. But they could say, hey, we've, we've given you far too much time in order to get this done. You had a deadline in order to get a pass and you weren't able to. You can't be trusted anymore. We're going to vote for somebody else. That would split the votes and then get the Brexit party, most likely. But then, of course, you'd also be having the Labour and the Lib Dems and seeing what, what happened in May earlier this year. There'd also be a surge in support for them, but hopefully they'd also split the vote. So it'd be pretty even all around. So six more people were going to be planning to defect. Yep. The Irish government took a hardline stance against his demand for a better Brexit deal. Ireland's Deputy Prime Minister Simon Coveney insisted the EU would not renegotiate the withdrawal agreement and rejected outright the idea of a time limit on the Northern Ireland backstop. It's one of those things where I'm not sure if these people understand game theory. Last night, Mr Johnson was finalising a list of senior Downing Street staff to join him in number 10 and work in his cabinet. Good, I'm intrigued. We can go through this later. Yeah, we're showing up to 70 expense to all the members backing him. The result will be announced shortly after 11am tomorrow. Fantastic. He's then expected to make his first speech as PM outside number 10 at around 5 and begin making cabinet appointments later in the evening. Looking forward to it. Philip Hammond is leaving. Good. <laughs> Margaret James, who also resigned. Good. These are not people you want, so glad they resigned. And Philip Hammond tries to make it look noble to say, well, you know, I, I've, I've got to be agreeing with the Prime Minister in order to, to be with them, which also suggests that he was awful in the past things. He agrees with Theresa May, and we see how that went, considering she was also pro Remain and didn't seem to want to leave the EU at all. But then he um, tacitly admits that he was going to be sacked anyway. So he's trying to leave as, a, as an honourable man, but I don't know, I think he's just being uh, diplomatic there. So six Tory MPs made effect to the Liberal Democrats if Boris Johnson is anointed Conservative leader tomorrow, it was claimed yesterday, so they're not Tories anyway, they might as well leave. They would even consider joining the Lib Dems, yep, yeah, cool, exactly. So Ed Davey, who served as Lib Dem Energy Minister in the Coalition Cabinet with Tory, 
Leading Tory Remainers is understood to have been approached by Conservatives desperate to stop Mr Johnson. It would only take two desertions to wipe out the Tory majority and the Conservatives are also widely expected to lose a seat in Brecon and Cranshire. Margaret James also resigned, saying she was not considering leaving at the moment, adding, I want to stay working with this group in the Conservative Party as I do think there's a chance of getting somewhere. Right, but they're also saying that there are ways to stop a no-deal from within Parliament. Here we are. Mr Hammond said Parliament does have a way of preventing a no-deal exit on Halloween without parliamentary consent, adding, I intend to work with others to ensure Parliament uses its power to make sure that the new government can't do that. <clears throat> the idea of public servants is you serve the public, not your own <laughs> tyrannical wants. So, that's about it. I would just end by saying, again, with Mr. Coveney, saying he described Mr. Johnson's approach was, give me what I want or I'm going to burn the house down for everybody. Which obviously is an unfair characterization, but let, let's go with what he's saying. Well, okay, that's fine then, because if, if you've got someone who's that so it's a strong world in negotiations, then chances are you're going to be wanting to to, to give them things. Like basically saying, um, hey, so this is from the EU then, saying that we're going to keep you in this house and we're going to imprison you and you're going to have to work for us, not get anything for the rest of your life. To which the response is, well, I'm going to burn the house down so you don't have any property and then I can escape and you're going to be too focused on the fire while I'm off <laughs> enjoying life. Hmm. So, well, okay. <laughs> then, then maybe those, those people will consider not being so harsh or enslaving you. So I'm, I'm fine with that. But anyway, that's it for now. Let me know what you guys think below. Was the Conservative Party not very conservative? Or oh, they were just cons conserving being in the EU? Well, were they not very conservative if people are considering leaving the Lib Dems? How deep do you think this goes? And do you think that the Conservatives will be elected again considering the mess they've made now that uh, Boris Johnson will be leading? Unless... Hunt comes out in front, but no no one wants to see Hunt come out in front. Anyway, that's it for now. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think below, and I will see you next time.